Hello and welcome to another episode of Minecraft in Dev. In this episode, I got a new skin. It's the uh, 11th Doctor, my favorite. I hate the 12th one. He ruined the show. That's why I totally stopped watching it. But anyways, it's been a little over the year of the 50th anniversary, so I decided to use his skin. Yes. Anyways, let me make stew so I don't die out there. Because we're going to... In this episode, we're going to try to make it to the very bottom. For that, we need sand. And we're going hardcore on the hardcore map, and we're just going to go get sand outside at night really fast. Wait, do you hear that? I don't know. This version is so hostile. So anyways, guys... To explain this series, it's not all going to be one world type. I will eventually have all the world types. The way this works is that every 10 episodes I switch a world type and I do as many achievements as possible and have as much fun as possible. But most importantly, on the Skylands, if it's a deep world type, your goal is to get a full set of iron. As you can see, I don't have full set. We'll work on that once we're on the bottom. And to get to the very bottom. So because you guys did not set the achievements, I am. So let's get some sand. So I was thinking about if I get a good modding API that takes class files. I could turn in dev world types as biomes and implement them into Minecraft 1.7.10 if I get a working API. So far I've only found out one bugged one. Which is why the Notch Pickaxe mod does not work. Now if there's a modder out there that can correct uh, the bugginess of the modding API, I will greatly appreciate them. So I was thinking about making Minecraft Tindav every single world type and every single uh, combination of world as the entire world as a biome since they're so small and after that I would make their own dimension for each biome and an option for each biome to be in a world and the skylines have a one in three chance of overlapping a biome and yeah going over it unless of course it's a deep world type then you'll just see an entire biome of nothingness but bedrock and if you look up there'll be the skylands it'll be pretty much that and yeah I think we have about enough sand to go down holy cow I don't want to die so anyways I tried recording this earlier but my throat got messed up it was exciting I only killed 10 skeletons but then I died like legit I just fell off a cliff and died and without saving it and I like how the shaders look. I mean, if you look at it, I just love it. I don't really like that shaders, but I love those shaders. I just love the shaders and the biomes of InDev and the textures. Those are the three most important things. And of course, the worlds themselves. So, yeah, if you're a modder, I can give you the entire Minecraft InDev.jar, which has everything that you'll need. And you can start working for me. <laughs> Please, maybe. Because I want to play this in Minecraft 1.8 soon. When the forge comes for 1.8. Hey, we're going to watch the sunrise. So anyways, we got enough sand. And I suppose we can go down now. Surprisingly, it's been boring. There's no mobs outside right now. Which is a good thing, I suppose. Holy cow, speaking of no mobs. Please, spider, don't see me. Oh, great. <laughs> I just did a screenshot of the entire world. Oh, yeah, that's another feature I want in my in-depth mod. I want the entire world screenshot of the large in-depth world. That you can do. It's not going to be a screenshot of the entire world. It will just be... The equivalent of a large in dev world type 
with everything maxed out as possible, and it will take that screenshot every time. Unless, of course, you're an in, in, in-dev bomb. Please don't kill me. Lag, please don't kill me. What the heck? Yeah, the lag nearly killed me again. I'm not gonna eat my stew just yet. I don't know why, but the mobs like always lag me out when I'm about to die. Hey, hey buddy, you wanna go? You wanna go? No, he doesn't want to go. So anyways, as soon as it's stay for some weird reason. Oh boy. One eat. Holy cow. I can't believe I survived. But anyways, for some reason it started lagging again. Maybe it's because I started looking up. There we go. Shouldn't lag anymore. Just turn the res render distance to short. And yeah. Let's go kill that creeper. Holy cow. Ever since that mob tried whacking me. Ow! Why? That's, that's just not fair. Nine. Oh. Holy cow. I don't believe it. But I'm alive. Notice the lag only gave me about three seconds before my death to survive and I did it. Just keep going this way towards my home. Wow, that makes it simple. Thanks for dying, I suppose. Can I get, is it safe? Should I chance it? But holy cow, is it lagging. Okay, it's not lagging that much. I think it's good, maybe. Yeah, for some reason, InDev can be really, really friendly to your computer and then just like nearly crash. So, I'm going to go back in my inside my house and yeah there we go yeah it's better now never mind yeah let's go down now actually I'm gonna save it because I have the amount of sand that I need and there we go Let's go to that one beach area and hopefully not die. Holy cow, why is it lagging? I might have to quit the video early again because this is just ridiculous. Okay, let me just put all the sand here. Oh wait, I think I just wasted a stack of sand, so I'm going to kill myself here. Yeah, I just wasted a stack of sand. That wasn't really fair. So, before this episode ends, I hope to make it to the bottom of the world. Hopefully. It doesn't lag me to death. Holy cow. Well, that explains a lot. Anyways, guys, if any of you would like to play Minecraft multiplayer to make it a bit more fun than me just rambling and you watching Minecraft in dev, then yeah, please contact me. Uh, my Twitter is linked to my YouTube channel, so yeah, you could just click that and be good. 
Okay. Oh no, no, no! Seriously. Come on, let's go. There's no way I'm gonna die. I'm so bad right now. I just keep dying from it. And I don't know what to keep telling myself. Okay. Well, I suppose this is good enough about... Saying it over here, and we can make an elevator down. Yep. And this is how you make an elevator down from one island to another, which I tried explaining in a previous episode. They just drop instantly to the ground, you don't even see them in the end up. Oh, great! If you look at that, I know what's happening. If you try to build a block in a floating sand, the entire floating sand will die. So, yeah. I guess I'm gonna have to try that again. This time, go around the main door. Right over here. Holy cow, I need to go this way. Oh no, 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 not again. <laughs> Maybe you guys just like to see me die or something. Because the more I die, the more views I get. It's not really funny. I'm trying to be a good. <laughs> what the heck? Glitches and bugs that give me the hugs. I love that line when there was a lot of bugs and glitches that gave me the hugs. That's the time when Herobrine was around, but Herobrine didn't even get invented for like a while. Okay, that was a problem. A lot of hunts have been going on in Minecraft in depth for Herobrine. Well, guess what? You're an idiot. He was maybe an alpha. We know he was in late beta. Okay, this time it's actually building up sand, as you can see. Right over there. And we got a sand pillar going down. Now, I'm gonna save it, because I know I'm gonna die like an idiot. And I'm gonna make two shovels. And there we go. Gonna save it. And yeah, there we go. We finally accomplished something. An elevator going down. The question is, should I? Or should I get this iron? I think I should get the iron. Because, yeah, it's a good idea. And then we got a sand elevator going back down. And of course I didn't bring my crafting table. Oh no! <laughs> well, it's a good thing I saved it. I know I'm cheating a lot. No, that's it. If I die one more time, I quit. I quit Minecraft, I quit Minecraft in Dev, I quit my series, I quit YouTube, I quit my life. If I keep dying. There we go. Uh, crafting table again. As you know, I'll leave that one there. And I guess um, I don't need sticks. What I do need is a pickaxe. And there we go. You know what? I'm going to build my home here because I like it. And no mobs will ever spawn. Unlike my other home up there. 
And there's plenty of stone and iron here. Yes. Yes, yes there is. And there we go. This is going to be my home. It's not going to be much, but who cares. And there's my home. Looks a lot like PPL's first home in Alpha. But I'm not even trying to copy him. I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to survive and that should deflect any mobs so yeah you guys can tell me what you want to do to the base because it's all up to you it's one of those series and if you don't participate then I'll just stop asking you and you won't and you won't have control of anything how the heck was there a creeper Well, anyways, I'm going to save it right now. Just in case I die down there. And, yeah. So, once you get to the very bottom, you don't have to use sand or dirt going back up anymore. I mean, sand or gravel. Holy cow. I hear mobs. Oh, no. Yeah, I was right about that one. I need a sword. <sighs> so in the next episode, I'll get down. From, I'll get down from that island, and yeah, I'll go to the next island. You know what? No, not next episode. I always say that. Let's make a crafting table right here now. Because I'm going to leave one at each house I make. And let's make a sword. And there we go. We're on the island. Now whether or not we get food or not, that's really up to the mobs. The mobs are pretty smart back then, even though that they're stupider in an update. Way before the adventure update, probably in Alpha. When they were too OP, not shit. Okay, let's make them stupider. And yeah. I have no idea how I'm going to survive this without any food. I mean, I suppose I could make a wheat farm, but that's just spectating. Ow. Please, let me survive. Go out into the night. There we go. If they come out here, they're dead. And they won't. So I'm good. Why don't they... Why don't they die? Why don't they die? They were out in the sun. That's no... You know what? In the next episode, tell me what you want me to do. Whether it be go to that island or whether it be to build a house. <sighs> because I'm going to try one more time and if I fail, I'm going to end this episode because I suck. There we go. A slag. Holy cow! Holy cow! There's like 10 skeletons down there. Did you see that? Hey, look, there's a gravel pillar that I had up there earlier. I'm gonna put a torch there. Light this place up just a bit. Set it down on leaf. No, you can't. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. Why the heck one phone? Okay. So anyways, if you see any brown mushrooms, please tell me because I don't. Please die in the crossfire and kill each other. Of course they shoot me. So yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode. T please tell me what you want to do. For me to do at least. I think I'm going to go out there and I'm going to make myself some bread. If I want to survive down there. And I'm going to need some more torches. So I'm going to go in my house. And I'm going to build a staircase up. So yes, please comment and like this video and maybe subscribe if you like this video. Please stop killing me mobs. <laughs> I, I just suck at this game, okay? Maybe Minecraft wasn't made for me, but I like to play it anyways. So it's Thanksgiving Day. Happy Thanksgiving. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I'll try to get out there one more time before the video ends. No zombie. Zombie! Well, that's weird. It was here before. Yeah, that's going to be the end of this video, and I'm going to beat this zombie with this shovel off the cliff. <laughs> See you later, gator. No, I won't, because you're dead. Oh, wait, I'm dead. Yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode.